guys well today it's, yeah. little, it's kind of warm right around my have my son outside playing with the bike uh i might have paint my uh letters from the tail light where it says dodge and the where it says charger with plastic dip uh let's see how it comes up let's do this as you can see here it put a bubble wrapping paper around it so the plastic dip won't uh, go all over, all over the car Either way, if it goes, I mean, you can remove plastic tape super easy, but that's how I prefer the car right now. It's kind of windy, you know, but it's warm enough so for the plastic tape to dry fast. Because if it doesn't dry fast, you won't be able to take it up. Uh, it, won't, it won't paint right, right? So let's do this. All right, guys, I already did a few coats. As you can see, uh, I'm letting it dry because if you do too many co coats at the same time, once you know the next to the letters right there uh gets so many uh that's it even between the letters once you start once you start removing it you're gonna bring the letter back with you i don't know why but it happened to me before i've been doing this since years back because i mean i've been plastic did my rims a lot so i know how to use it reason why i left a little bit of space that i'm a plastic did that shit out of those spaces because once I start removing it, so it can be easier for me. So I'm doing like at least seven coats, eight coats, it's up to you. The more do you do, I mean, don't go like 20, of course, right? But the more you do, the better it will be for you to remove it once you finish uh, painting them. But I would suggest every time you do plastic them on, the, on the letters, let them dry, every coat, let them dry. No, like before that, I did a green, letter, uh, green paint on the SRT letters. I was not letting it dry, that doesn't really matter. But with, when it comes to plastic, yeah, you have to let it dry every every coat, so you will not put over sprays around the letters. And when you try to remove it, you will not bring it with you the whole letter, and then again you will have to paint it again. But yeah, let's do this. How are you doing, guys? Well, uh, I just finished doing the letters and cleaning the tail light. Uh, well, I'm gonna show you why I'm gonna need these three toothpicks. It's to remove the plastic around the letters that goes inside. So let's do this. I'm sorry for the wind, it's windy as well, but as you can see, you have a plastic dip inside the letter. That's why I'm gonna try to remove. The hardest one will be the G, as you can see. The E, and over here, see, there's still plastic dip inside. So that's the one we have to remove with this topic, so you won't hurt the paint, but you gotta do it carefully. So I'm gonna try to do it, and I'll show you how they come up. Let's do this. So here it is, guys. Uh, I just finished doing it. Letter R and the E have water on the letter, so that's why the plastic dig didn't stick to it. But more than that, the rest of the letters came up pretty good. Hey guys, well, as you can see, it started getting uh, a little bit windy. It's getting a little bit chilly. It's not hot as I used to two minutes ago. But that's how it is in Georgia. Sun can be hot, and I don't know where it can get cold. Uh, as you can see, the letter R and the E didn't, didn't the plastic did, didn't stick to it because it had water in it. But I'm gonna try to do it tomorrow if it's warm enough and finish the job. Uh, I don't think I'm a suck at this shit because I mean I know how to do this thing. I've been doing it for years. But today was not my day. It is what it is, man. Uh, hope you like the video and I'm gonna try to take the sound of the wind away of the videos. If you know, I'm sorry, guys. But let's do this. Thank you guys for watching my videos and once again, have a good day.